Bodhi Linux, the default desktop, I did have to install a screen recorder, which is simple screen recorder. All right, let's take a quick look here. The default desktop, right clicking on the desktop doesn't seem to do anything. We have some gadgets or widgets here to the right, and that's fine. A shortcut, two shortcuts, install Bodhi Linux and a shortcut for help. This opens up the Chromium web browser. It takes you to the Bodhi Linux help website. Very good. A panel at the bottom, right clicking and holy cow, wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve ways to orient the panel. Why not? It's Linux. Okay, right to left, so we got power and the usual shortcut shortcuts here, notifications, the clipboard, my simple screen recorder, and so on. Of course, the Thunar file manager. And this is how I install the software. You don't have to do this if you are new to all this, but I use some commands here, such as sudo apt install sm player and the Chromium web browser shortcut. Let's click the start button, as I like to call it. Applications, accessories. Again, this is a very lightweight download. There are four versions of this to download. I chose the minimalistic download. So accessories, leaf pad preferences, not much there. Graphics, e-photo, internet, Chromium web browser. Under sound and video, I did install Simple Screen Recorder, SM Player, SM Player and VLC with no issues. Under System Tools, I noticed the Synaptic Package Manager is installed by default. Excellent. My favorite Linux package manager. I did install a Task Manager. And as you can see, we are using a whopping, not 780 megabytes of memory. What I can tell you in conclusion, this thing flies. So if you're looking for something fast, if you have an older machine with maybe two gigs of RAM, maybe one gig of RAM, this might work for you. Take a look. Ciao.